Welcome to Capital One's presentation of ESPN Bowling. It's the inaugural Plains Capital Fort Worth Bowl as the number 19th ranked TCU Horn Frogs take on the number 16th ranked Boise State Broncos. Weather 47 degrees, supposed to drop into the 30s, but the wind has subsided, which is good news. It gale to 25 and 30 all day long, and the forecast is for clear skies. Not saying he's not going to play and contribute, but he's not going to contribute at 100%. Here's the kick. Wynn sends this one about three yards deep in the end zone, and they'll return it. Chris Carr, 20, tripped up, and he'll stagger actually for another 10 to 11 yards. And we look at Ryan Dinwiddie, the senior out of Elk Grove, California. The numbers absolutely staggering at times. Michael. The lone setback, quick out pass, has that. Going to be a gain of 10 yards, now 12 yards. As battling downfield, Acre, T.J. Acre, gain of 12 yards on the first play. So it's first down for Boise. They move it to the 45. And here they come with an end around and hit immediately behind the line of scrimmage is Baby. Looks like this. Michael is the tailback. Swenson the fullback. Schumann is the tight end. Jerry Smith and Gilligan was scheduled to start, but you could see Beatty in the ball game a moment ago. Up front, McLeod is the center. Jason Turner is the right tackle. And it's Clayton Adams who starts at left guard, replacing Chitoji, who was suspended because of academic reasons. That's Ralph in motion, number 20. TCU comes with a blitz. Under pressure, he's going to be sacked. Guess who? Bo Schobel, the all-conference sack master. Green passes, and when plays develop, well behind the line of scrimmage. Of course, the yellow line is there as well, but that's the line of scrimmage. Hold him. <laughs> if you get the first down, they've got to take a 20... Eight yards upfield all the way to the 45 of TCU. And here's a draw play. Hit at the line of scrimmage, Michael. And he's tackled by Goolsby, the middle linebacker. Rogers, the deep man for TCU. Here's his kick. Not very long. And in fact, it's a wobbly spiral. Got a hit behind the protect man. And now takes a big Boise State bounce. It is going to come out looking pretty doggone good on paper. It'll be touchdown. Brandon Hassel. He's a junior out of nearby Arlington, Sam Houston. Ty Gunn went down. After the second ball game in practice, and they said, Mr. Hassel, the job is yours. They're going to throw on first down. He's going to go on top. Got a man wide open, and he's down to the 35-yard line. That's Harold. Reggie Harold, the junior out of Arlington. He has 52 catches this season. TCU. Lines up in their huddle, short of the line of scrimmage. They go straight ahead with a handoff, and it's Lante Hobbs. So is the remainder of the offense. Robert Merrill at tailback. He'll swap time with the Hobbs, who just carried. Hyder is the fullback. They switched him over from tailback. McCarty, the tight end. Galbert and Harold, who just had the big catch of 40 yards, are the wide receivers. A lobby, the left tackle. Culp is the man replacing uh, Johnson, who was suspended for tonight's ball game in the middle. Here comes the option. Fakes the pitch, going to keep it. Has the first down, and it's going to take it inside the 25. Fender there to make the stop. Defensively, well, this is the TCU offense, and uh, continue with that one. Now here we go with Boise State. Roberts and Williams, very good on the outside. Roberts is an all-conference performer. Allen and Oldham in the middle. <laughs> Linebackers, Berger, Hall, and Avalos. Avalos, an all-conference performer. And then the secondary, well, we'll check that in just a moment as TCU is back at the line of scrimmage. Here comes an option play, and Harold's going to be hit behind the line of scrimmage. Hassel, defensive end, makes the stop. Avalos, all-conference performer in the secondary. Brown and Gabe Franklin at the corners. Chris Carr, who is very talented out of Reno at strong safety and at free, is Wes Nurse. Up and a big play for them to stop this momentum a little bit, Mike. Yeah, Boise's defense is very solid. And now they're going to jump offside. Really solid. It is a second and about six and a half yards for the first. Looking to throw. Got a man in the flat and the ball is caught at the 10-yard line. Taken away as Harrell took it away from the defender and now was finally being pushed back. Who uh, stayed with the football. And they go right up the middle with the run. Down to the three-yard line, number 30, Lante Hobbs. Power eye set from the two-and-a-half-yard line. Here they come with the sweep. And it's going to be Rogers. Touchdown, TCU. Carlos Rogers, a big play guy out of Houston, Fort Ben Hightower, takes it in. By a count of 
seven to nothing. And he does. So let's take a timeout. TCU seven to nothing at the 9:53 mark, and Corey Rogers takes it into the end zone for the touchdown. In the count on the scoreboard, Mike. And that's what TCU has to do. Another line drive kick, and I don't know if they're going to reject. Yep, they will from eight yards deep. Chris Carr gets to the right side, hits, spins off one tackle, gets by another. Boy, what a great effort! Finally tackled at the 23. It makes a huge difference. Well, it's going to be spotty the rest of the game. Okay. Play action. Dinwiddie, he got a man wide open if he goes on top, and he does. And got it at the 30-yard line, and down to the 33 is Acre. J or TJ Acre. So it'll be first down just inside at the TCU 30-yard line. This time from the shotgun, here's a blitz, and that ball is thrown short. And the, the Horn Frogs are lining up. Schobel and Pollard, two outstanding defensive ends. Ray and Pugh, the defensive tackles. The linebackers, they play two, Patterson and Goolsby. Two hard-nosed kids in the secondary, five defensive backs. Walker and Sanders are the cornerbacks. Motkins is the free safety. Michael, the tailback, goes slot to the left side, out about eight yards, and they give the ball to Heck. And Donnie Heck going to be hit at the line of scrimmage. Beatty is the man split well to the bottom of the screen. Pressure. Runs away from harm's way. Looking. Now drills the ball. And then he's got it. And touchdown. Boise State. And it's Acre. 27 yards. So Acre with a 49-yarder. And then a 27-yarder. And that's what I meant. He's got it. So let's take a timeout. As we go to break, you see the pressure, but then when he got away from it, moves once again to his left. Acre is right there, and he catches it for the touchdown extra point by Jones. We're tied. His drive only took four plays and under two minutes. Dinwiddie throwing the touchdown pass. This ball, if he lets it go, it's going to nope, didn't go out of bounds. Going to be picked up by Conley. And Conley will turn it right upfield and not get back to the 20-yard line. Continued to run, and as a result, they get a touchdown. And we're tied. Running play right up the middle this time, and that is Robert Merrill. They don't seem to be bothered by the fact of who's in the ball game and who gets the carry win. From the 22, play action. Going to hold on to the football and be tackled, I believe, with enough for the first down. At the first down from the 29. Draw play, and it's Merrill. And Merrill will go for, oh, maybe a couple, to, or Rogers, I should say. And uh, that was the first score of the night. Play action. Steps up. Man is covered. And going to scramble. And finally knocked out of bounds at around the 35-yard line. He's always around the football. And that has truly been the case so far tonight. Back in the pocket. Got it complete. That's going to be enough for the first down to Corey Rogers. And Rogers gets away from the first defensive back, Corey Hall. Two tight ends in the ball game this time. And the running play is not going to go for very much as Merrill is hit behind the line. Second down and 11. Here comes the option play. Hassel's going to turn the corner, and he'll take it inside the 45 to the 44-yard line. Two tight ends, McCarty and Moss. That's Merrill in motion. Blitz is coming. He's going to run for it. Going to have the first down and more. So Hassel, they want to shorten this game. New set of downs from the Boise 35. Quick out pass. Got that one there to Rodgers. Rodgers tries to cut it back upfield. Short game, maybe three and a half yards. Tenth play of the drive for TCU. Not much there for Robert Merrill. I wonder if they're going to pull one out here. That's DePriest in motion. But they come with an option play. Waits for the pitch. Going to turn it up. 25. Close to the first down, and with that dive, I think he got it. Kenny Hyder is the fullback, number 11. And they give it to Hobbs right up the middle. Again, short game. 
on first down. It plays with a chip on his shoulder. Plays. What's to prove him wrong? 5-10, three-year starter. Nice defensive play as he tries to run forward, and it was Travis Berger. And that's why he's been able to run free on key third down situations. Well, they crowd the line of scrimmage. Here comes a blitz. Hassel got his pass down. He's got him wide open. Rodgers, 10-5. Touchdown, home draw. 22 yards. Receiver on the crossing route. Nick Brown, the left footer, knocks it up and through. And at the 144 mark of the opening quarter, TCU, as we head to break, goes on top, 14 to 7. And let's take one more look at the play. Rodgers. See, he just gets away from the defensive back, Julius Brown, and legs it in for six. As Mike Wynn prepares to kick it off for the Horn Frogs. Got under this one's going to be short. Quick spinner hits at the 11. Going to be picked up by Michael, and Michael. Michael and Heck. Of the two setbacks, Ralph in motion. They go straight ahead, and not much doing as Robert Pollard. ECU Gary Patterson said in the high 20s, low 30s, we can win this game. Can't Carpenter. Get a shoot out of it. Jeff Carpenter, the ball carrier, here, and is not able to go full speed tonight. Schumann in motion. Dinwiddie over the middle, half in, wide open, and the man I was just talking about was the man applying the pressure. Stringer gets the kick away. A hanging spiral caught at the 42-yard line. Rodgers and the end of the road at the 45. Hobbs into the lineup, but he wants to throw it. He's got a man right there that caught by Harold. And they're running the option. They're stretching the defense, and they're throwing the play action well. Now, so quick pass, got that one complete. Now the ball is dropped. They will say incomplete. Uh, Ty Gunn, who was the starter, both last year and this year before injury took him out, as the running play with Lante Hobbs goes for very close to the first down. And that is the end of the opening quarter. TCU leads it 14 to 7. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Got to keep the football away from us. TCU has a beat on this defense right now. Merrill, not much as he goes to left guard. Going to be a gain of a couple. Quarterbacks run them free. Here they come quickly back to the line of scrimmage. Play action. Throws. Got a man wide open. Catches it at the 17 yard line. Reggie Harrell. Well, here they come breaking the huddle quickly again with the first down. Sets deep in the pocket, going for the end zone, and the ball is overthrown. You want to work just as hard as they do. Well, that's a great point. That's what a good officiating crew does, Adrian. Here comes the option. Down the line of scrimmage, and there you see quickly they come over, and Chad Andrus, Lante Hobbs is the tailback. Third down, they need to take it inside the nine-yard line. Got a man. At the ten-yard line is Quinn Lee Harmon, and I don't know if he's not going to have the first down. Fourth down, two tight in alignment, power eye set, that's Rodgers in motion. Got him in wide open and he bounced it to Rodgers. I mean he had him there, but because of the pressure, haunt the TCU Horn Frogs. Big missed opportunity by TCU. Donnie Heck is the tailback this time. Flags are down, pass over the middle, and almost intercepted by Modkins. Offside, TCU. Lee Marks in the ball game, number 17. And they'll pitch the ball back to him. He's a speed guy. Breaks off one tackle and comes out over the 20 to around the 23. So that was a first down picked up by Lee Marks. See the numbers on Dinwiddie. Here we come with a draw play. Woo, not much doing there. TCU showing blitz, possibly an audible. And here they come. And the pass delivered. Got it to Acre and Acre. Still loose, 40, 45, and it's going to be written out of bounds. It's Brandon Williams who will push him out, but, and surely there's one somewhere under the stadium. Donnie Heck is the tailback. 
And he'll get the handoff right up the middle. And Hack is going to fight his way for about five, five and a half yards. Simulate the other team's offense because one team's a running team, the other team's a passing team. Hit, hit behind the line of scrimmage, Martin Patterson. The Horn Frogs come up to show that they're going to play bump on the outside, and they stay with it. Here comes the pressure. Pass is intercepted. Finally stopped. is the man who made the interception. 24 yards on the return. Play action. Now he's going to run it. Hassel gets to the outside. Has the first down. Goes out of bounds at the 35-yard line. He's got a lot of folks here and friends because of living in nearby Arlington. Here comes the option. Pitches the ball back. They went for the block. Missed the block, but then Lante Hobbs on such an angle trying to turn the corner lost his footing last year we had the southern miss game on a wednesday night and he really had a coming out party and is doing very well here tonight that's a first down run hassle comes down with the option again gonna keep it he's wide open and he will score Chris Carr just got completely turned around on the play. Position. Nick Brown with the extra point attempt, and he's got it. And at the 9.36 mark, the heavy underdogs, the TCU Horn Frogs, have gone on top by a margin of 21 to 7. As you take a look at young Brandon Hassel, taking it in 22 yards for the touchdown. Let's take a break. Heck and Carr, the two deep men. Here comes Wynn's kick. And it's going to be taken by Heck at the goal line. Stumbles as he tried to make a turn, and he'll go down at the 22. As we said, they've scored over 200 points in the second quarter this year. Gilligan back on the lineup, number 87. Let's see if they go to him. Pressure is on. Ball is tipped, and that one was almost intercepted as the linebacker. Then Woody again from the shotgun. TCU showed blitz. They stay at home, and a quick pass. Whoa, Schumann. Is decked by Goolsby, so they fake the blitz. It is third down. Boise needs to take it to the 32 yard line to hold on to the football. This time, Dinwiddie under center. Short drop, quick look in, and he's got him. That is Acre. Plenty enough for the first down. He'll take it to the 46. Gonna go. That's who he's got. It's Carpenter, the running back, at the 10 5. Touchdown at Boise State. Great job of blocking. And just after I said he came in, Mike, I watched him go through the line of scrimmage, and obviously not a soul picked him up. The extra point. He's got it. We got a seven point ball game. And again, not only does Boise score, they score very quickly. One more look at it. Carpenter just slips him out of the backfield. You can see TCU players running well behind him. And we got a 21-14 game. Don't go away. We'll be right back. It's a play before. I, th I think it was, too. I think when Angry ran the, with him. the crossing route. Yeah. This kick is going to go out of bounds, so TCU will have good field position at the 35-yard line. And Adrian could get in trouble. He touched that chain a while ago. From the 35. Hassel, nothing there, runs right into the defender, Mike Williams. It, it does need to be exactly right, but as long as they're both using it, that's the most important thing. Merrill, the tailback, better job of the option right here. A lot of talking going on on the sideline. Third down line to make the 45, and Hassel still looking. He's going to run. Gets a good pickup block, cuts the corner, didn't get the first down. Very close, Julius Brown. First punt by TCU tonight. It's a good pass and a wobbly spiral. Chris Carr gets by one tackler at the 15. Now at the sideline, he got a lot of running room, and a flag has gone down at the 35. Carr still running across midfield and down to the 40, but I believe this one's going to come back. One bad hold. David Michael, the tailback, from the 25-yard line. Faked it to him, now gets the pass out right over the middle. Ball is tipped, and he almost put it in the arms of the defender, Andy Weldon. Has five, 
has 10. David Michael off and running at the 40-yard line. Has a blocker in front. Michael at the 10, at the 5, dives for the touchdown. 75 yards. Jones to attempt the extra point. He knocks it home, and it's a 75-yard touchdown run by David Michael. There he is right there, a 5'11", 205-pound senior who dives into the end zone, and at 6'12", we are tied. TCU 21, Boise 21. That's what you're talking about right there, quick strikes. From the goal line, Corey Rogers. Rogers spins off one tackler. Finally, will be stopped at the 23. That's Hyder in motion, the fullback. And here comes an option. And Hassel this time. Uh... Lante Hobbs has the first down, plus about five yards. But uh... Hassel. Throwback. Got it complete. Not going to go for very much to McCarty, the tight end. Under five minutes to play until halftime. Hobbs again at tailback, and they give it to him. Runs into his own blocker, then a defender, and is stopped at the 43. Robert Merrill checks in at tailback. Go empty in the backfield. Got the pass complete at the 50-yard line to Andrus. Chad Andrus are taking what they're giving them. Here comes the reverse. Dupreeze. And Dupreeze, you can see as he crossed the yellow line, is going to have 10 and then add four more. Just as they were on that 75-yard run just a moment ago by Boise. Here they go with an end around to Rodgers. And Rodgers turns it up, and he's going to have close to 10 yards on the play. And second down, quick count. And they go right up the middle with Harold, and he will take it. Merrill with a second effort all the way down to the 13-yard line. Horn Frogs at the 13-yard line of the Broncos. Option pass under pressure now. Still looking. And just throws this one away. It hurt, really, when he was in high school at LaGrange. Tenth play of the drive coming up. Down the line with the option. Turns it upfield and will be tackled at around the 7-yard line. Career high rushing tonight for Hassel. Straight ahead, bangs into his right tackle. He's not going to have the first down. And then injured after the second game. So Hassel has had to step up, and he's shown a lot of poise. And there they go, back into the short side of the field with the option. Flag comes down, and we may have holding against TCU. In fact, I think we do. To go down at the 22-yard line. So it's an attempt of 32 yards from that right hash mark. He got it. 28 of 33 on the season. And now Boise State has got 43 seconds to work with. Here's Wynn's kick. It's going to be high and short. Over to the right side. Gathered by Carr at the 11-yard line. Got an opening. And Carr will be stopped just short of the 40-yard line. David Michael. The lone setback. Sets in the pocket, got it over the middle of the ball, tipped away. Schumann was the man, and Gilligan is in the lineup. He is at the bottom of your screen, or actually just out of your picture to the bottom. Dinwiddie with a pass over the middle, got that one complete, and that's Gilligan. And he will take it out of bounds at the 35-yard line, and now here comes a flag in. Walked on in 1999 as a kicker. The penalty moves it down inside the 20-yard line to the 18. Again, short drop. And he gets this one over the middle, but the hit immediately at the 14. Acre has the reception. And a year. Dinwiddie from the 13-yard line. Retreats to throw, has it at the 10, and the tackle is made. The ball comes loose, but they say no play was dead. Walker over there to make the tackle. David Michael, the lone setback. Schumann goes in motion. 
Short drop, and he throws the fade route in the corner of the end zone. It is too far. Tease the man at the top of your screen. They got TCU's defense spread out all over the place. Zings the pass, and it is intercepted. And that is Matkins. Now they say no, no interception. Tyler Jones with the field goal attempt from 23 yards away. Hits it right down the middle, and we're going to go to halftime with a tie score here in Eamon G. Carter Stadium. So our halftime score is TCU 24 and Boise State 24. Now here's Chris Fowler with the halftime report. Chris? Within the first half, 105 yards rushing for Brandon Hassel. Well, that kick is uh, not going to be returned. It doesn't matter. The big stat is they are tied on the scoreboard. Robert Merrill, the tailback, and here they come with an option play to open the second half, and Merrill puts the head down, ball is loose, and Boise State has recovered at the 26-yard line, Avalos, who had 11 first-half tackles, comes up with a big play, David Michael is the setback, Dinwiddie goes under center, and they give it to Michael. Weaves his way to the right side. He's going to take it to the 21, Adrian Karsten. And now Lee Marks has checked in a tailback, number 17. 5'7", Scooter. And they give it to him. Sweep to the left side, tries to bounce it outside. Gets by one tackler, and then he's going to be stopped at the 20-yard line. Third down and four. they got to take it to the 16-and-a-half-yard line, as you can see, or just inside of that. Short drop to throw. Here's pressure. The ball is... Did he catch it? The officials... Well, if he caught it, he was being held anyway. Officials now have given a signal to say incomplete. Wow, that's a tough, tough call right here. Following the collision. Oh, I tell you what, if he didn't catch the ball, I don't know. Mark Walker with the cover on the play, but you're right. Ball, and this is going to be an attempt of 37 yards. Gets a good pass, plenty of distance, and he's got it. So the TCU bump will cost them a field goal to open the second half here, and the new leader is Boise, on top by a count of 27 to 24. So here we go. Tyler Jones to kick it off. High and very long. And this is going to come down one yard deep. Rodgers will return. Cuts back to the middle of the field and runs over his own blocker. Going to be stopped at the 19. TCU comes from the sideline, and again, Mike, they go to the line of scrimmage quickly and go into their stance. They go straight ahead with the running play, Lante Hobbs, even though they are a quick strike group. Coomer comes in at quarterback, number 14. Delivers the pass and has it complete out at the 31. Good for the first down. Coomer with the option. Cuts it back up field. Now here is where he is not nearly as uh, so Lante Hobbs operates a tailback. They fake it to him. Out enough. Got a guy there. And the ball is going to be short. And a flag comes down. Takeoff. Boy. I don't see that one either. Mike, it's kind of like that. Is that got to at least push off a little bit? Monte Hobbs starts off to the right, cuts it back to the left side, close to midfield. And particularly, hassle. Yeah, a youngster who has not had that many uh, snaps. Going to be hit from behind and dragged down by Paul Allen. Well, TCU has had their problems with quarterback injuries this year. Hassel has come in and done a nice job. Swings this pass out. Cuts it to the outside. Going to have the first down high. And mark. 20. 10. First and goal to Horn Frogs. Julius Brown saved the touchdown. Ball resting just inside the 10-yard line. So it's first and goal for the Horn Frogs. Straight ahead, Hyder gets the handoff. And he'll go for a couple of yards. Hassel back in this football game. Straight up the middle, handoff, and touchdown, Lante Hobbs. This which was perfect play, and gets great effort from the remainder of his teammates, and that's what makes up a good team, Mike Godfrey. It was a good play call by Mike Schultz, the offensive coordinator, to give Coomer something to, to hit on right there. Hobbs takes it in for the touchdown. 31-27 Horn Frogs. 40. 
win with the kick. And he's going to do the same thing to the other side of the field, taken by Heck at the 15. Boy, he gets tagged as he crosses the 30-yard line. And Woody, here comes pressure. And he throws that one away. But he has two tackles, one sack and then uh, a tackle on a running play. It's Ralph in motion. They go straight ahead. Whoa, the hit in the line of scrimmage by Chad Pugh. Boise needs to take it out to their own 42-yard line. Pressure off the corner, no flag, and he runs right by Schobel, drills the pass and couldn't get it. Threw it a little too far toward the sideline. In Mike. Yep, they are. Gets it off the side of his foot. On the run, Rodgers makes the catch at the 42, tackled at the 46. Both teams look like they're out of gas a little bit. Brandon Hassel comes back in. This could be a double pass because that one was from behind. Long, almost intercepted. McCarty, the... Need to work on it a little more. <laughs> Fakes the option. Ooh, Hassel gets hit down hard. Third down. TCU needs to take it to the Boise 44-yard line. And the handoff inside, there's nothing there for Hobbs. Browning, the man who just made that outstanding play a couple of moments ago, is back deep. And this is a lazy, wobbling spiral, kind of like a knuckleball car, has to run by it, and now it's going to cost him. This ball is going to be touched dead at the four-yard line. Heck is the tailback. It's Ralph in motion. He'll give it to Heck, though. Tries to bounce it to the outside. Gets by Schobel, and then will pick up about three more... A lot of substitutions by Boise. The ball from the nine-yard line. Dinwiddie sets to throw. Looking to his left has the pass complete to Jerry Smith. And he is going to be stopped at the 17. David Michael, the tailback. That was Smith in motion, but they give it to Michael. Big opening, and he's going to take... That uh, carry for about five and a half or six yards. This should be a penalty because when you break the huddle, the men that you have substituted for, if they're not within nine yards of the line of scrimmage, can't do it. And I believe, but, and an interception also. He had that uh, one completion to, uh, to Jerry Smith. Carpenter comes in at tailback. Then when he steps up, gets by Schobel, going to be hit from behind, and spins down. Andy Weldon, the tight end, flips over to the left side. Pitch back goes to Michael. Not much there. Comes with a draw play. Big hit at the line of scrimmage, and that is Newby with his third down. They're going to take it up to the 48-yard line. They've got TCU's defense spread out all over the field. From the shotgun, Dinwiddie all the time in the world, deep over the middle, got him with ease at the 36 is Lawrence Beatty. Gilligan is the man split wide to the left, top of your screen. And that's who he's going to. Off the mark, here comes a flag. Better watch, he doesn't pick up another 15. Boys, he quickly out of the huddle and up to the line of scrimmage. Go with the running play. Nothing in the middle. Michael will cut it back to his left. I wonder if they ever tried him there. Tenth play of the drive coming up. Screen pass to Heck. And Heck is going to be hit at the 18-yard line. At third down. And they need to take it to the TCU 11. Lee Marks comes in a tailback. Throws the ball over the middle. Has it complete. And tackled at the line of scrimmage is Acre. Quickly to the line of scrimmage. Seven seconds on the play clock. It's Lee Marks in motion. Short drop, quick pass over the middle. Got it completed. It'll be first and goal. T.J. Acre with the catch. He trails it, 31-27, but trying to amend that situation right here. Right up the middle, and a hit is Michael, and knocked down by mm -hmm, one interception. 283 yards, 15 of 27. And Michael slipped down that time. Let's take a break as we head to the final 15. TCU by four, but the Broncos are threatening. We'll be right back. And Gilligan, number 87, Tim is in the lineup. 
Dinwiddie looking to throw. Got it complete. That's Smith on the short route at the 5 o'clock. At the 5 o'clock. At the 5 yard line. Fourth down and goal. And here they come. Four wide receivers. Dinwiddie short drop. Looks. He is hit. And the ball is incomplete. TCU will take over. Brandon Williams. The strong safety. Passed on the field goes both of them. Brandon Hassel back at the ball game at uh, quarterback. Gives it off to Hobbs, cuts it up the middle, and all of a sudden, Lante Hobbs just proved that theory wrong. Make the end around, comes with the option, and the pitch back. Beyond the 30, ball is loose. Boise and Boise it. has recovered, and it's Chris Cox. Yeah, it's hard to point the finger at Grimm, but he was out there trying to hustle and help his team. So Boise gets a reprieve after missing on the fourth down. And a very short carry by David Michael by Boise. 15 plays, 90 yards, 7.38 off the clock. And, of course, they came away with no points. But they get a chance to atone for it here. As Schumann, the tight end, makes the reception. Check it as Andy Weldon. Two tight ends set, two wide receivers, and one running back. Lobs this one wide open at the end zone. Touchdown. Schumann. What a nice corner route by Schumann. Good play fake by Dinwiddie. Good touch throw. And uh... it was a great call. Tyler Jones with the extra point attempt. So let's take a timeout. Dinwiddie just threads the needle on this throw right here. Looks to his left, turns back to his right, puts air under it, and there is the touchdown. Boise back on top. But Boise takes the lead, and Tyler Jones will kick it off. 34-31, three-point game. And this kickoff's going to be taken at the one by Connolly. Flag comes down. Ten-yard line. Or Boise all of a sudden will have uh, some distance between themselves and the Horn Frogs. Option play. Pitches it back. Hobbs will try to turn the corner. He's going to have the first down. The fumble occurred. Coomer came in and took over for him, led him to a touchdown. And this option play is not going to go anywhere. Anytime you get one stretched out, TCU is one here at home. Play action goes on top and overthrown. That's a good job defensively. Third down, they got to take it all the way out to the 28 and a half yard line to keep this drive going. Sets deep in the pocket, throws it short, very short. And the tackle made on Reggie Harrell. I beg your pardon. They have put Gilligan in at kick return, and this is a line drive, very returnable. From the 40. Across midfield and is then going to be knocked down after a return of about 13. Griffin, his family, and uh, that Drake will be there for the remainder of the holiday season with this crew as the ball is intercepted by Goolsby. Ryan Dinwiddie under through the football. Running play is going to go for short yardage to the 45. It's Lante Hobbs again. And running play again goes for very short yardage. And, and running skills, I'm not sure with that muscle pull that he's able to, Mike. Tighter in motion. Rolls the pocket, throws this one, and incomplete. Couldn't hold on at the 35. Reggie Harrell, kick it away. Wobbly spiral, Carr on the run, and falls down and makes the catch at the 18-yard line. TCU show blitz, but they stay at home, and the running play will go only to the 20-yard line. In Okano, Boise State, very powerful offensive team. Short count, gets it out in the flat. That's Michael, and one-on-one, -on -one, you get him in space, and he's difficult to bring down. Keep it on the ground again, and Michael will pick up a couple. Been a good performer for the Horn Frogs, though. Short drop to throw, though, no, almost intercepted. That was good anticipation, but they need the 40-yard line. 
DCU showing the blitz off the corner, and here they come, and the ball is knocked away on a nice defensive play by Elvis Gallegos. High pass, but he's able to get it away. And the ball is caught and fumbled, and as they scramble for it, flags have come down all over the place, 36 yards on the kick. So, so TCU with a first and 10 at their own 45-yard line. The play action. Well, better be careful here. That <laughs> Got to find them right now. Second and 10. They go to the open side of the field. Doesn't pitch it. He's going to go for very short yards. Going to be third down. Third down. They need to take it to the Boise State 45-yard line. Monte Hobbs in motion. Looking. Man breaks free. And... It is intercepted by Boise. That's Gabe Franklin. Boy, a great interception by Gabe Franklin. Michael takes it over the right side and uh, out to around the 43-yard line. Blitz coming off the corner, the running play. Michael ran right by the corner. Michael hit at the line of scrimmage. He doesn't have it. Very high, wobbly spiral that will not turn over. Continue to go with Lante Hobbs at the tailback. Sets in the pocket, going to go on top. Looking deep, and it is almost intercepted. Here's Hobbs. Knocks down his own guard who was trying to pull on the play. Hit John Blood. Third down. they got to take it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Rolls the pocket, throws back the screen, and a great defensive play. Not to be fooled is Chris Carr. Fourth down. Got to take it to the 30. Got his man. And he makes the catch at the 46-yard line, Reggie Harrell. Football, but he made it all the way to the semis in the NCAA. As TCU comes back with a run. Harrell made a great catch on it to go up and above and make that sure-handed catch. 145 left in the ball game. Here comes the option play. Goes with the pitch. Hobbs, 40, 35, and he stepped out of bounds. 28 of 33 this year, his longest, 50 yards. Hobbs waits for his blockers, patiently takes it down to the 33-yard line. Hassel steps up, throws this pass incomplete. They set up the screen, and they got it. And the defensive player, Avalo, stayed at home. 46-yard field goal from here. On the running play, he didn't get it. No, I'll tell you what. He got it. 49 seconds left. Quickly to the line of scrimmage. Quick pass over the middle. That's intended for... Castle straight back in the pocket, throws, just throws this one away. Got a padding right over the middle, caught complete. Reggie Harrell is inside the 20, and there is a flag down. TCU, an eligible receiver downfield. So third down, and they need to take it to the 18-yard line, 23 seconds left. Going long, just overthrown at the two-yard line. Comes down to one play. Gets a good pass. Doesn't add the distance. Seven seconds showing on the clock. 
So they'll take the snap. TCU has no timeouts left. They'll take the snap, go down on one knee, and this one is over. Dan Hawkins and this Boise State club gets their 13th win of the year. So our final score, Boise State 34 and TCU 31. Coming up next on SportsCenter and over on ESPN, it is ESPN News, rather it's post-game extra.